Hello my friends, welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. Today I'm not out actually hunting rocks, I guess I am. It's kind of a canned hunt, I guess you would say. But I am at the Afton Rock and Mineral Show. This is put on by the Gem and Mineral Society of St. Louis. They're the uh, rock club I belong to. They also have the uh, Fossil Club. But uh, let's go inside, let's see some of the exhibitors, and let's see what kind of cool things they might have. These here are their entry prizes that you can win when you come in. Look at that grand prize. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of amethyst right there. Now me, myself, I like the Friday prize, which is the fish, but you know me and my love of fossils. That sliced egg, it's really nice too. Today is Sunday. I missed it Friday and Saturday due to being on the road, but I'm here now. Of course, the more pieces they have to show, it's a great piece of malachite in the back there. Still a light. Mm. That is a massive gypsum desert rose. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Galena, that's a neat piece of galena. You can see all the little squares on it. I've seen some galena in here. It's a little more than like what I'm used to, and if I can find it again, I'll show you. Really nice gypsum from Canada, right here. Nice piece of calcite amethyst. Hopefully you can read this. If you can't, let me know and I will try to tell you what they are in the comments. If you need more time to look at it, just pause the video. All right, guys, you know my love of the Union Road agates. Well, get ready to check this out. These are all collected by a guy I know, a friend of mine, a guy by the name of Mark Moldner. Wanted to make sure I pronounced his name right. I butcher a lot of things, but uh, here we go. This is his Union Road agate collection. Look at the amazingness that is the Union Road agates that Mark has collected. Mark is the Union Road agate king in this area. But you can see that one there that's got the hourglass look. That's what I'm always picking up those nodules for, those chert nodules, because you just never know until you cut them open. Then you get them polished. That one in the back almost looks like a butterfly. That is beautiful. And then here we have the Missouri Fossil Hunters Club. Thinking about joining these guys. Lots of cool trilobites, like those found in Lincoln County, Missouri. The Bomistatoys, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, probably not. One of these days I'll find a Missouri trilobite, hopefully. The Facebook group, hopefully you can read that. And that trilobite right there was brought in by yours truly. It's uh, Solomon Calibre from Grafton, Illinois. And here's the Missouri Fossil Hunters, the original hide and seek, and their Facebook group. I'm gonna put this up on screen for a second. So you can click that with your camera. These are some of the awesome deals they have here. They're having a holiday sale of 60% off of marked everything that's a pretty good deal I'm not gonna lie to you guys I've I've already been in here and I bought some stuff from them I got some really nice ammonites and I'll show you the ammonites whenever I get back all sorts of cool things throughout here my buddy John this is his booth <laughs> Hold on, I had you blocked by had you blocked by a, a light there. <laughs> yep, 
He's got really good prices. Beautiful pieces of amber. You guys know my love of amber. There's a nice piece of pyrite. $40, that's a good deal. Especially for a piece that looks that good. Heck yeah. That ammonite there with the rainbow on it. Beautiful. Amazing stuff. Julie and my buddy Donnie, they got a booth here. We're gonna go through and check out some of their good stuff. They have amazing prices and amazing stuff. Look at that Malachi right there. That's, they do a lot of shows. I've met them at shows, they're Facebook friends. I dug with them before out at Haunted Ridge. Look at that copper. That is beautiful. And then root beer calcite. Who loves fluorite? Hunting Rocks loves fluorite. Look at that. Spectacular. Arkansas. They were just there in Arkansas. Beautiful, beautiful crystals. That's really nice. Mount Ida, that's uh that is where I go to Twin Creek Crystal Mine. Oh yeah, you gotta have a spider in the box. Of course, some minerals of Mexico. Back over to John's booth, look at this Madagascar fluorite. That's really cool. And I do have John's card, so. This is a good deal. It's a $75 value, it's $20. It's a child starter kit. So if you got a kid who wants to get into mineral and gem collecting, you've got little rubies right there, smoky quartz. That's a piece of selenite I'm seeing. That's a good deal for 20 bucks. I'm an adult and I buy that for myself. More fluoride. Steven. Beautiful lapis. Look at his pyrite. Steven who? I don't know who it is. That's so. cool. That is cool. That's a beautiful tray of ammonites. Ammonites and amber. Anything you could want, they probably got here. Beautiful beaded necklaces. It's not a monster show, but uh, it's a good one. It's definitely a good one. It's an amazing piece of amethyst. Fossil mammoth teeth and tusks. Those are cool. From Alaska. It's amazing stuff. Look at that Brazilian agate. That thing's beautiful. It's got an angry eye right there. This is the Eastern Missouri Society for Paleontology, EMSP. If you want to join their group, if you're into fossils, you can go to mofossils.com. They go on field trips and all that good stuff. And as you can see, they also are fans of the trilobite, petrified wood, and of course my favorite sitting right there. Kellerman Calibre from Grafton, Illinois, and the Joliet Formation. You guys have seen me dig those quite a few times. We didn't do so great the horn corals. That wasn't Beautiful pieces of the polished Rogos horn coral. I've never seen one polished. That's nice. We got shark teeth here. Big old megalodon teeth. I don't know why. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see what it says. A toadius? I'm not quite sure. It's really cool though. We definitely need freaking shark's teeth. Some more ammonites, polished ammonites. That's a blastoid. You can find those in the Missouri area. I haven't found one yet. And I forgot to bring it, I copied a picture of that from Mosasaur. It's a nice blastoid right there. 12 page. Yep. Look at this beautiful ammonite they have for sale in their booth. $60, that's not bad. Gosh, that thing is... I'm gonna pick it up and flip it. Oh, look at that. 
That is just too cool with those leaf patterns in there. Man. If Christmas wasn't on the way, I'd have bought that for myself. Raw copper from Michigan. Some sweet looking copper from Michigan. There's Galena and Iron Pyrite. That's really cool. Six dollars. That's a good price. Some more little trilobites. Those are the. Um, um, oh, I can't think of the name. The Mary Kitten. No, not the yeah. king. Those are from uh, Utah. You guys watched me dig those up in a previous video. And then Maison Creek material, I'm guessing. Uh, Will County, Illinois, Maison Creek. Yep, that's exactly what these are. One of these days I'll get up there and shoot a video. This is a really cool booth. They've got some beautiful malachite. Look at that polished malachite, that's amazing. Shark teeth pendants. Of course, more ammonites. Who doesn't love the ammonite? Little blueberry azurites. Those things are so cool. And that's a fulgurite. So those are made by electricity. That's whenever lightning strikes the beach, it causes that to form. Fluorite, which of course is the state mineral of Illinois. Some of my favorite, there's some aquamarine in there. But I love that little miner on the fool's gold. Let me zoom in on that. That's pretty cool. Lots of good stuff. And I totally agree with that. Stealing is a crime. Come on, people. Don't be that way. Somebody's got a singing bowl going. Beautiful pieces of pyrite. The Priscilla. That's very cool. Beautiful rocks and minerals everywhere. Oh, that's a nice piece of Galena. Look at this. So that's Galena from Potosi, Missouri. See, this is the Galena I'm used to, a bigger chunk like that. That little small piece is like over there that I showed you are really cool. I'll pop them back up on screen real quick. Those are cool, but I'm not used to those. I'm used to that bigger chunk like that. Some marcasite there, again from Missouri. Calico pyrite and spherolite quartz, that's really cool. More beautiful polished malachite. If you're into making jewelry, this stuff right here it makes beautiful jewelry. That's not bad, fluorite and appetite, whole box, $70. Beautiful pieces of rose quartz, that's a good price, 75 cents, heck yeah. And then they got the big pieces for $25. There's good prices here, folks. This show is really good and they got beautiful stuff. You got honey calcite, green calcite, and some of this stuff is just beautiful the way it was made. A lot of the stuff that's been handmade, I don't want to show. That is an amazing price on their large selenite too, $25. Ooh, that's a big chunk of selenite. Yeah. Selenite wands and that's a, that's a big selenite plate. $20, that's not bad at all. Look at this beautiful piece. That is cool. That is very cool. Look at that beautiful lapis in there. Oh, I know. I, know. I love lapis. It, just that blue color, blue and green on rocks. Just one of these days, I'll go and hunt that and find some. Good. I might have to go out of country, but I'm okay with that. That's okay. <laughs> beautiful beads they have here. Beautiful beads. Really good prices too, guys. This Afton Jim and Mineral Show is totally worth it. If you can make it down here next year, do it. They even have pearls, fresh water, and the such. Super nice. And of course, large size beads. Oh, this video I'm 
pop it around because I want to make sure I don't video anyone. Those are pretty metallic. Oh wow, look at the metallic blue on there. Very nice. Fossils, of course. Petrified wood from Holbrook, Arizona. You guys know I love that. Very nice fish fossils. Very cool, very cool indeed. And they're a good price, guys. Everybody out here has got, look at this Galena. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Is that an old Tri-State piece? Very cool. stuff that was mined back in the 60s. Wow. I don't know if you heard him, but that's from Cherokee County, Kansas. This was mined back in the 60s. That is really cool. Look at that azurite with malachite. Hematite, all sorts of goodies. Look at these amazing slabs back there. Spectacular. Of course, geodes, lots of geodes, some druzy. Really good prices on the geodes, $10 a pair, $20 a pair, $8 a pair. That's not bad, they're already split open, you can't beat that. Beautiful chunks of azurite. Look at these quartz, man. I wish I could have found something like that. Look at that. That's that's a cubit. That thing is huge. What is that? That's not a bad price. 900 bucks for that? That's got to weigh every bit of, I'm going to guess, 30 pounds. Beautiful smoky quartz. Outstanding. And, of course, some more quartz over here. Beautiful quartz wands. Those are all natural, too. Those are amazing. Look at the size of that. That's, I don't know, that's a good six, seven inches long. Beautiful piece of smoky. Look at that. You can see where it was part of a cluster. And then this piece is really cool. And that is natural smoky quartz. You can tell that has not been irradiated. When you irradiate it, that's what uh, makes it the super, super dark. This piece is just really big, not been irradiated. Same with this one. When they irradiate it, that's what turns it almost completely black. They use x-rays for that. Look at these amazing animal carvings. I love this elephant. That is a bear made out of the malachite. Look at that. This little guy's more in my price range. I mean, that cat probably cancels up to 20% and that's okay, but. No, no, that, it's not that bad. Very cool. Got very cool stuff. Look at this turtle. And I've got his card, so. I'm gonna, you'll see it before you see all this, and that way you'll know how to contact him if you see anything you really like. He's got beautiful mineral specimens. Patchy agate, that's really pretty. All right, let's see what I got today at the Jim and Mineral Show. So, one of the first things I picked up, this was uh, this was on the table that had the 60% off of everything. I got two really nice ammonite necklaces. These will end up becoming Christmas gifts to someone. Super pretty on the back. They do have a little bit of the... Uh, rainbow sheen to them. Those back in their bag for right now. 
a pyrite sun spear, or a pyrite sunstone. These uh, I can actually find down in Sparta, Illinois. I've, I haven't gone down and looked for them yet. That's going to be uh, hopefully an upcoming adventure. Hopefully I can find them. But these are formed between the layers of coal. Hold on a second. Hamilton wants to go inside. All right. I have a very nice azurite blueberry. Love azurite. I really do need to go out and hunt this sometime next time I'm in Utah. I might do that later this year, I hope. I got some places in Arizona I can go look to. But, man, I just love this stuff. It's blue because it's a copper sulfate. It, uh, not something you want to stick in your mouth, that's for sure. It is toxic. But, small dose like this, keep it in the bag, everything will be fine. Uh, azurite actually turns into malachite as it weathers out. And pseudomorphs. Some lapis lazuli. I just love this stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It'll probably become a piece of jewelry. But lapis lazuli is, uh, uh, they would grind this up in the ancient times and uh, they would use it as a uh, paint pigment or would cut it and put it into pieces of uh, gold and whatnot like that. Actually, if you look at some of the uh, artifacts that they found from the city of Ur, U R Ur, uh, they actually used a lot of lapis. I think I have some pictures of that. If I do, uh, you'll see the picture right here. And yeah, that's exactly what they used to make that blue color. Pretty cool, I think. And then this, because I love blue minerals. Calico pyrite. Peacock ore. This is super pretty. Now, this is nothing more than a piece for my collection. I'm going to put this into a, a bag to keep the keep the moisture out of it because it is pyrite and it will moisture does mess with it uh, pyrite's cool stuff I was going to shoot a video on that but some things happened and I've never shot that video well I did shoot the video it just had to be erased but anyhow um, don't worry I wasn't trespassing I will do a video in the future on pyrite because I love fool's gold it's really neat it's made by microbes they believe and then last but not least, it is my in-law's 40th anniversary. The 40th anniversary is the ruby anniversary. So, I got them some pieces of ruby. Cannot, cur, 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 corundium. Boy, it's hard to say. But I got them some small pieces and I got them a rather large piece. They're not jewelry quality, but still really pretty and cool. But, but yep, those are my finds and my buys from the Gem and Mineral Show in Afton. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do because usually I'm out looking for the rocks. Uh, this time, the rocks were waiting there for me. As always, we really hope you enjoyed the episode. Hamilton, of course, always hopes you enjoyed the episode. And uh, hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe out of this in the comment if you want. Doesn't, uh, doesn't cost anything to give me a subscribe and they really help me out. But uh, as always, I hope to see you guys the next time I'm out hunting rocks. Have a good one. Bye.